Now to a milestone in South Florida. The city of Miami will be hosting Formula One starting next year. It's a 10 year deal to hold the race at Hard Rock Stadium. But some residents are unhappy. CBS 4's Bo Beth Yates joins us now from Miami Gardens with more on the story. Bo Beth. Well, the decision has been a controversial one to say the least. I'm told that the new track will be built somewhere behind me on Hard Rock Stadium property. But while officials are celebrating the move, residents are not happy. I'm very excited to hear that uh, Miami is coming into F1 calendar. I think Miami and F1 is a perfect combination. That was Formula One racer Sergio Perez on the announcement that Miami will become the 11th location to be added to the circuit. But while race enthusiasts are celebrating, those who live close by the stadium have different thoughts. We will not be hospitable to an event that's being put upon us that's going to endanger our health. Longtime Miami Gardens resident Karen Hunter Jackson says her and most of the people who live in the area are not happy with Sunday's announcement that Miami Grand Prix will start next year. We're held captive during the hundred some odd events they have a year. They park on our properties. They block off our streets so that we can't get to and from home. And it's just not fair that after all of that, they're asking even more. And she's not alone. We have to keep the door closed all the time because you're nice. This, this street is really, really busy with, with traffic. And you think it's going to get worse? Yeah, it's going to be a, going, going to be a worse because when they have the Super Bowl here, oh my God, it's terrible. Officials say the 3.4 mile track will be built on or near Hard Rock Stadium property, allowing racers to get up to an estimated speed of nearly 200 miles per hour. In a statement, Congressman Carlos Jimenez celebrated the move, saying F1's inclusion in the Miami Grand Prix will not only help prove that South Florida continues to be a world class destination, but it will bring with it a major $400 million economic boost. But Miami Gardens residents say the city will only get a fraction of that money. Money, and it's not worth the headache. This $5 million, which is a pittance, basically calculates to $4.42 per resident per year for 10 years. And that's how much we were sold out for. Now, in addition to the noise and the additional cars coming to the area, residents say they're also worried about the environmental pollutions coming from the emissions from the cars. Now, coming up at 11, I'll have more details about that. Live in Miami Gardens, Bobeth Yates, CBS 4 News.